Imagine if you can visualize your databases in Notion. In this video, we wanted to show you how to use Chartbase, also known as Notion to Charts, in order to visualize your data in your Notion pages. This is perfect for finance, habit trackers, and more. We'll share the link to this in the description below. If you find this useful, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. So let's dive right in. So the first thing you'll have to do is actually make an account. And to start using Chartbase is actually completely free, but it's important to note that there are some limitations. So we'll just go over that really quickly. So if we check the pricing, you'll notice that the free plan only includes one chart, but you do get to use all seven chart types and the records per chart is also kind of limited. So you can only have 500 records for the free. So if you only have one chart that you really need to use, the free plan could work perfectly for you. Otherwise, the starter, professional, or enterprise can also be very helpful. So let's get started by pressing the Get Started Free button, and you'll have to log in using Google. And once you log in, you'll see a page similar to this. So let's first start by clicking the settings. And in settings, you'll want to make sure that your workspace is connected to Chartbase. So let's already go ahead and check this out. So we've already connected this, but if we wanted to edit it, we can click on the edit button. And you'll see that it's requesting access to the organized notebook and you have to approve that Chartbase will have a permission to view pages you select, view workspace users and their emails and so on. So we can go ahead and select pages. And basically we have this checked, which is our main workspace. So they can access our main workspace for all of our databases in here. So we can just allow access. And once you've made sure that Chartbase has access to the workspace that you want to use for your charts, we can get started. So to get started with Chartbase, we thought the best way would be to actually show you a real use case. So we're gonna be using our ultimate habit tracker. And if you're interested in this template, we'll also leave the link to it in the description below. But basically in our habit tracker, we have various databases that could be perfect for adding a chart. So the first one we'll be doing is in the goal planner. So as you can see in the goal planner, we have various life areas. And let's say that we wanted to show a pie chart showing how much percent is being a health goal as opposed to a finance goal. So you can really see what life areas are reflected by your current goals right now. So we can actually do this by going to chart base and we can click create chart. And in this case, we wanted to show you a pie chart. So we're gonna go with the pie chart and then it's going to ask you for the Notion database. And you can easily search for the database by typing it in here. And we've actually just labeled them charts so that it's really easy for us to find them. So the first one we're going to show you is the Goal Planner database. So we're going to click this database and then we'll click Next. And then you can actually add the settings for the X axis and the Y axis. So the X axis is going to be the life area. So we want to see how many are in each life area. So we're going to click life area and the Y axis is going to be the name. So basically the goals that we have inside and then we can create chart. So now we have our chart here and it already looks quite good. We have two goals inside health life area and we have one goal inside finances and we can even make this life area goals so that it's clear what we are looking at here. And then we can even change the colors. So if we wanted a single color or multiple colors and each color can be customized. So if we wanted a more sort of grayish look, we can easily change that as well so that it kind of matches a little bit with our template. And you can show value percentage or none in terms of the labels. So this is also easily customizable and you can also change filters, for example. So let's say that we only want to see the goals that are currently in progress. So we could just put the status progress and progress equals in progress and save. So these are only our current goals that are being shown here. So once we have that, we can get the embed link by clicking here and we can copy. And then we can go to our Notion page and paste in this link. So let's say that we wanted the pie chart on this side. We could just 
paste the link in and create embed. And now we see that we have two in health and one in finances for our goals. So next, let's go to our habit planner and we'll show you how to make a bar graph in the habit planner. So in the habit planner, what we want to see is all of the percentages for each habit that we're tracking. So we'd want to see that go to gym two times is 10%, 10% and 7% like this, but in a more easy to understand chart format. So if we go back, we're going to go back to the main page and we'll be making a new chart. So now let's go ahead and make a bar graph to show you this. So we'll go to plus create new chart and we'll choose bar chart and click next. And this time we want to show our habit planner database. So we're going to click on habit planner. We'll click next. And now what we want to show is each of our habits. So each of our habits is by name, and then we want to show the completion percentage. So we can create chart. And now we see that we have reading 30 minutes a day, go to gym two times a week and 10,000 steps per day. And it does not show it in a percentage format. So we can go ahead and change that by changing this to percentage here. Confirm so that the data type is now percentage. So now we see 10% here and we'll choose data label none so that we can see clearly that this is 10%, 10% and then 7%. And let's go ahead with a single color and we'll choose something on the gray scale. And then we can actually add a filter. So we're going to go plus add a filter. And this is going to be where completed is not checked. So we want to see only our current habits. So we're going to save this. And now it's pretty much ready to be put into our Notion page, but we'll do one more thing, which is that we'd prefer a side bar type view. So we'll just change it like this and get embed link, copy, and we'll go to our Notion page. And now we can add it in to our habit planner. So we can just type slash column here, get two columns. And on one side, we'll put this one. And on this side, we'll paste in the chart and create embed. And it would look something like this. So we see all three of our habits with the bar charts like this. So let's go to the next one. And the next one is going to be our habit tracker. And we'd like to show it day by day. So you can see exactly how many habits you completed every day and kind of track that in a line chart. So if we go back here and we'll be creating a new chart. So we can click plus create new chart and let's go with a line chart. And next, and we'll be doing the habit tracker. So now the X axis is going to be the date and the Y axis is going to be the completed checkbox. And we are going to click create chart. So now you can see that on January 14th, we did two habits. And then here we had one habit and here we had one habit. So this is another way to easily sort of track your habits as well so that you can see a daily count on a line graph and see how it goes up and down. And we can go ahead and choose single color and change it again to something more grayish. And in this case, you might want a filter. For example, if you don't want to show all your data, you can filter it by week or by month and so on. So there's a lot that you can customize here. So let's go ahead and get the embed link and we will copy this. And here, for example, we could add this graph under here by pasting it in create embed. So it would look something like this. So that's the basics of chart base. It's very easy to use and we really recommend you to just play around with it and see how many different views you can get based on your data. We hope that this was useful for you. We'll be leaving the link to chart base and our habit tracker in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, or anything that was confusing in this video, feel free to let us know and we hope to see you in the next one.